Oh, what the hell is this mess now? Well, this is the Harbor Freight uh, little uh, rotary tool. And, um, you know, I ran it off the, uh, the jump pack in the other video. So I said, well, let's see if we can blow it up with a computer power supply. Now, this is the same one I used in my video uh, to run the Linksys 24-port switch. And it says it'll put 5 volts, 25 amps, 12 volts at 8 amps. So theoretically, it should be able to handle this thing and no problem. So, I don't have the right color wires, because I don't care, I know what I'm doing. So, we're just going to hook this in. The green is negative, in this case. The white is positive, in this case. So that's hooked up to the cigarette lighter charger that was on the uh, jump pack, okay, plugged into the rotary tool, hooked up to the yellow and black wire, so that's 12 volts. And now what we're going to do is turn on power, plug in power, make sure my fan runs. It does, okay, because this is an ATX supply, so I just have a piece of, uh, it's actually a piece of ground wire, just like that there. That was out of a piece of Romex that I used, I showed in the other video. It's just still here and sort of cocked it taped up. So it's all wired up. Let's see how this one runs at 12 volts off your computer power supply. About the same as the battery. Certainly got some balls to it. Much better than a little wimpy adapter. So you can do that. Let's try it on five. Um, I've never tried just moving that right over directly. So I could. I mean, you could also do like seven volts if you wanted to. But I don't really feel like playing with that. So I'm just going to move everything over the way I know. Oh, that is in there tight. All right. So now we got five volts, but still with current, we're still live. Yeah, almost nothing. Seems to run smoother than the other adapter, but you can do that. Well, let's see how this power supply can handle this uh, little heater thing. I have it hooked up in much the same fashion. Green clean light is on. Now, we know this will run the light. There's no trouble with that. We know it will run the fan. Fan sounds almost dirty. Let's turn that on. We'll put it to heat and see what happens. It may blow up, we may shoot sparks out of it, it may just go in protection mode. It turns on. The light dimmed. It is producing heat. These wires are not necessarily able to handle the kind of stuff we're putting through them. But for a short period of time like this, and they are... Are they getting warm? A little bit. Just barely. This is just barely chooching out warm air now. Barely. It was doing much better off the battery pack. This just can't provide the current it needs. 
You see how it got like brighter and then brighter yet? See it like it just can't provide the current it needs. See that? It's brighter and then brighter yet. And that's how the fan is supposed to sound. When you put it to heat, you can't handle it. All right, so anyway, we know that this supply just cannot handle putting out the amount of current this thing needs. But that's this one, and this is a, a 250 watt piece of shit made in China compact supply, so. It sort of worked for one thing, but not that well for another. Uh, if you got a higher power, by the way, I did void the warranty on that because I opened it up in the other video just to look at it. But anyway, if you got another power supply that puts out more chooch, you're welcome to try that. See if you can get this thing to run, or you could try a little higher voltage or whatever. But I figured that was just something we can play with. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And that way you'll always know when there are new videos posted. Take care.